when I was really little. God, this is one hell of a story. A lot could have gone wrong there, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, what's up guys? It's Javon Mona Walton, and I'm here with 17 for 17 questions. I always box. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I always box. I'm a boxer first. I've been doing that since I was four years old, punching couch pillows since I was two. <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's really what like kind of started it. I was like punching couch pillows at a young age. And I was telling my dad, like, I want to go to a boxing gym. Like, um, I would see it on TV and like, I was super interested in it, right? So when I was four, my dad finally took me to a gym to actually box and I really got into it. I got 80 fights now and I competed at a very high level and I hope to go pro at 18 years old. I never say I'm gonna do something that I don't do. Whatever I say, I do. I'm not I'm not somebody that's just like, oh, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Like, I always do it. If I'm about to go hang out with a friend, right, or something like that, and maybe even sometimes, like, sometimes you don't want to. Sometimes you want to just chill inside. Like, I won't, like, back out of that. I'll always do it. I want a gajillion shoes. I want to build my shoe collection even more. I probably have a good 30 shoes, 40 shoes. But I've been going recently, I've been sizing down my collection. It was a little bigger, but I've been going more for quality less than quantity and just like getting shoes that I absolutely love that are just super dope rather than just getting a bunch of just like, you know, cheaper shoes. My favorite pair I got right now, I think the ones I like the most are probably the shoe surgeon ones I got. They're like a go-yard wrap on the dunks. This off-white design with a go-yard wrap on it. It's like these the dunks are absolutely crazy that he made. His stuff is dope. So I think the hardest thing uh, about boxing is probably cutting weight. I've had to cut around like five pounds and then that, that's pretty tough. Cutting weight is to, you know, get lower for a different weight class. So let's say if you weigh 115 pounds, you have to cut down to 110. And that, that part is pretty tough because when you're a boxer, you're always training and you're always in good shape. So there's not much to cut. Honestly, I think getting Euphoria because it opened up so many opportunities in the acting world for me, that's amazing, you know? That's, that's something that was really cool and was able to get me booked for a lot of other stuff. Everything about it, I knew it was gonna be a huge hit. And it was crazy like how I tried out for Euphoria. I was on the Steve Harvey show for boxing because I've been known in the boxing community for a good bit now. I got a call from a casting director and she asked me if I was interested in the role called Euphoria. And I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Like I'll try out for the script. And then I ended up trying for it, loving it. I got the part immediately. It was only one try and that was it. I was the only kid pronouncing the drug names right. So. <laughs> what made me start acting was getting the script for Euphoria. Honestly, like I just like trying out for it and getting the part is like what made me really want to continue with acting. Like I said earlier, everything happens for a reason and I knew that acting was in my path for a reason. And I knew that it was something that I'm supposed to do, something I'm meant to do, so. I like doing like art sometimes. Like I'm not huge on it. I don't know, like I like the animation stuff and I love art. I'm not the best at it, but I like, like drawing stuff. When I was really little, God, this is one hell of a story. When I was really little, all my siblings were in my room. We were like, what, eight or nine? I wanted to go outside, so, and it was like two stories up. So me and my siblings, we attached a bunch of blankets together and <laughs> and we crawled down them, like I did, not them. They thought that was crazy. I crawled down the blankets to go all the way outside. And it was like two or three stories up. So it was, it was high. Like we had to make like attach multiple blankets. Like a lot could have gone wrong there, I'm not gonna lie. No, there's there's nobody that I would meet that I would be starstruck over, but somebody that I would like to meet, would have liked to meet was Muhammad Ali. That would have been really cool. I was supposed to shoot an armor commercial with him one time, so that would have been dope, but my fan base is so strong and there's so many people that support me and I love that, you know? There's, there's a lot of people out there that really support me and love that what I'm doing and that really means a lot to me because it's hard to build a community like that. I honestly don't know if I got like a dream co-star. I'm, I'm a strong believer, like everything happens for a reason. So whoever I work with is who I work with, you know? And uh, it don't matter at the end of the day. If I could change one bad thing about social media, okay, I'm just gonna call out TikTok here in general, like how addictive it is. I mean, bro, I'll be on like a for, my For You page for so long and not even realize like how many TikToks I've watched. And that's like the absolute worst. It's really addictive. That's one thing I would change. And all the hate on it. There's too much hating, too many people hating, but you can't control that. That don't matter. I want to go skydiving really bad. 
That's something I would love to do. So if I could do anything, I'm gonna go skydiving. There's something fun about the risk in it. I don't know why, like, it's just, it's cool. Yeah, I don't even know. Like my playlist right now is kind of like all over the place. I got like kind of like a mix of like different artists. I like Drake, I like Giveon, I like Childish Gambino. I mean, there's like, like artists like that I love. I think my favorite thing about being an actor is being able to work with new people and having like, a whole new cast every time is super cool. It's like a reset and it, it's cool to experience that and meet all these new people on set. You have to have the discipline. Boxing is huge, like extremely big on discipline. You have to take a lot of time and effort to really become good at boxing. I started boxing at four years old. That's the first time I went to a gym. When I was like little, I was like punching like couch pillows and stuff like that, watching boxing on TV. And I would talk to my dad about it like a lot. Like, please take me to the gym, like I want to box. Like he trained me a little bit, showed me like a few little things. Cause he used to box when he was younger, but really got back into it because like I wanted to do it so bad. He, when he thought I was somewhat ready for it, he took me to a gym when I was four years old. That's really what started it. I always had the tr discipline. I always had the drive. I like, I, I had what it took to become a boxer. And that's, that's really what sparked it. Honestly, like, I don't even know. Like, I don't want to set, like, limitations on myself. Like, I want to go absolutely as far as I can go by the age of 30 years old. I want to accomplish a lot of things. So many that I don't, I don't even know what to name. Like, I mean, being a world champion in boxing would be priority for sure and doing some great stuff in the acting space. I think my favorite thing about myself, that I'm a lefty. There's not many lefties, so I, I think that's kind of cool that I'm a lefty. Well, there's a lot of lefties, but you know what I mean? Like, compared to righties, like, it's cool that I'm a lefty. I don't know. There's not much. I'm not, you know, like, it's hard to, like, pump yourself up and, you know, get in a great headspace all the time. I think it's really just, like, doing it, doing whatever I'm supposed to be doing. That, that pumps me up because I know that there's the bigger picture to look forward to when you're working, you know? So I think that's, that's really what gets me going. I would say I'm a very hard worker, disciplined, and passionate about what I do. I think just boxing and acting in general, like they've absolutely changed my life, both of them, and have made me thrive in a way that I am very grateful for. Something I want to accomplish is kind of like what I said earlier, I want to be a world champion, that's for sure. I want to be like a Marvel or DC or whatever like that. I want to be like a superhero or anything. I, I just want to be like a superhero or a supervillain. I don't know which one is more likely, but I do really want to play Robin. That would be sick. I would love to play Robin. What I would say to my fans is, I just, I want to thank you guys for all the support y'all and love y'all give me. Like, it really means a lot. Y'all are the best. I hope you guys are all thriving in your own ways as individuals and killing it in whatever you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Umbrella Academy, y'all should definitely check that out. It's gonna be absolutely fire. Can't wait for that to drop. And that's it, peace.